Hi, I'm Shanna Gerard. I'm the Corporate Secretary for CoralWare. Thanks for joining us in this shareholder and investor update. With me is Lloyd Spencer, the CEO and President of CoralWare. We've had a lot of changes since the last investor update and we wanted to make you aware of a lot of these changes. Among them is the considerable growth that we have been having in our customer base. If you go to the CoralWare website in the section under our company, there's a link to this map which shows our customer base worldwide. We've had growth in all three of our divisions in the video conferencing, the consulting, and particularly in robotics. As we've gone through this growth, we have found ways to increase the revenues and decrease the costs at the same time. We've been doing a lot of streamlining both in our business organizations and in our back office and support. And we found that as we've done that, we've been able to streamline a lot of processes in each of the divisions and in our back office. And that makes us a lot more effective about getting the job done in a more cost-effective manner. At the same time, we have become very focused on decreasing our overall debt load and our legacy debt and getting toward profitability. And you'll see much more focus of that and you'll see much more result in that in the coming months. And I'll turn it back to Lloyd to talk about how we intend to uh, grow and address all of this in the near future. Thank you, Jenna. Corridor started in robotics in the research and education business. And so we're in over, as you mentioned, 25 countries. We have over 100 cu customers. And when you look at our install base, it's predominantly with researchers and educators. As I mentioned earlier, um, with robotics, we are now looking at expanding some uh, new areas. Um, as you'll see in this video, uh, this mobile robot that we uh, just recently uh, shipped over to Ohio State, which has adopted the CoreBot platform, um, these kind of platforms will be used for developing new applications. Others that we have coming forth are going to be, as I mentioned, in the agriculture space as well. So as we begin to uh, broaden our capabilities in robotics um, beyond even some of the work we've done in simulation in the past using uh, the Microsoft platform and also some other Linux-based uh, simulation tools, uh, what you're going to be seeing is that we're going to be taking these assets and then bringing those forth into new markets. Um, for example, I mentioned the security marketplace. There are, there are now applications, or I should say there are now customers who are looking for new applications to expand their capabilities beyond traditional security, using mobile robots to do scanning and to do other activities, but more on that later. In the agricultural space, you're going to see the use of robotics. In some cases, you've seen it for, uh, with other companies being used for uh, performing some of the, uh, the more manual uh, tasks of within a greenhouse, for example, what we're finding is that our customers are now looking for us to help them doing uh, work on, on larger scale agricultural type projects. So more on that in, in the future. Um, with that, I would certainly like to say that you're going to see us expand our business um, you know, in the robotics area, but also in the, in the enterprise application space. And again, combining those assets of both mobile robotics and, um, and enterprise applications. Um, and with that, um, I think we'd like to thank everybody for joining us on this edition of our CoreAware shareholder update. And we look forward to seeing you next time.